It's really important. What it does is filter out all offensive content on YouTube. That includes pornography, nudity, graphic violence, narcotics. Those are the kind of things that should be taken off YouTube anyway. But since there's so much on YouTube, YouTube can't police it. So now at least it will be filtered for age-appropriate viewing. It also filters out comments, though, right? Even on sites that would the theoretically be right. safe, it would filter out the stuff that, because people say, horrible things even in safe sites. Right, exactly. So the comments are collapsed. That means you don't see them by default because it could be a clean video about kittens, but still there's some users who are going to be jerks and say bleep, 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 this kitten. So even if they do say that and you pull down to see the comment, those bleep, bleep, bleeps will be mm -hmm. bleeped out by stars. So I'm going to... Well, you know, green is in and with energy prices on the rise, technology companies are trying to help consumers conserve. This new program is called Microsoft home. It works with your power company to track and monitor energy use and also give you tips on how to save. So we asked a family in Sacramento, California to test it out. Right, what it's doing now is parading as an antivirus program called Spyware Protect 2009. It takes users to a fake website, asks them to pay $50 for a spyware program that actually is Conficker, and then it keeps your credit card information, it infects your computer, and it keeps that $50. You know, there are 8 to 10 million phones lost in the U.S. each year. Now new software increases the chances that you'll get it back with a little help from some good Samaritans. Hi there. With a hectic schedule and so much to do at the end of the year, it's easy to lose track of your things. I've lost several cell phones in New York City taxi cabs, seven to be exact. Thankfully, there's software that helps you track your phone and get it back, in theory. So I'm going to test it by taking this phone and leaving it in this cab and seeing if it comes back to me. Both iPhones and Windows phones have technology like this. You pay $5 on Windows each time that you need it and a flat $100 per year fee for an iPhone backup program. That does include this service. Now, if you don't get the phone back, the software can even erase all the data, such as your contacts and your messages. Our good Samaritan Kim says someone once found her lost phone and made obscene calls to everyone in her contact list. So this would be helpful for her. Oh, Sad my but gosh. True. Who would do that? Why would you do Just that? So Companies like Boost Mobile and Virgin USA sell prepaid cell phone service. They have a competitor now that you might not expect, Walmart. iPhone users pay about $100 per month and use about 50% more data than the average cell phone user. Prepaid phone users won't get all the bells and whistles. They'll just get a phone that tells you the time, sends your text messages, and gets your calls. Make even that sound like news. We asked early show contributor Natalie Del Conte to spin chat roulette's wheel, but it didn't take Natalie long to run into the site's dark side. Yes, yes, the dark side. The same dark side that's on every internet site. With Sophia Tong from GameSpot, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. She's agreed to take me around the show floor and show me about some of the things that we can take home in terms of toys and that kind of thing. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff on the show floor. I've been walking around the last couple of days. And uh, yeah, there's gaming toys, there's some toys from movies, TV. So let's go check it out. This behind us is a huge line. Everyone's waiting for these. Why? Yeah, it's crazy. Well, the 80s are making a comeback because there's a G.I. Joe and Transformer movie out this summer. So, uh, yeah, this line's crazy. And they'll take these home and maybe keep them or maybe sell them on eBay. You can sell these on eBay? Yeah. Okay. Super deformed plush. Big heads, little bodies. They're very cute. Very cute. Especially the uh, Christmas Yoda. I didn't know that Yoda celebrated Christmas. Well, I guess he does now. Now I know.